I want to now start the next segment, and we have uh, one of the most successful serial entrepreneurs with us, uh, people whom you will all uh, associate with or would like to aspire to, Mr. Mukesh Bansal, uh, who again probably needs no introduction to our to the startup world that we all live in, uh, but just to do justice to whatever uh, he has done earlier, Mr. Mukesh Bansal is a serial entrepreneur who co-founded Maintra, an Indian fashion e-commerce company in 2007. In 2014, Maintra was acquired by Flipkart for $330 million, which was the largest e-commerce related acquisition in India. I hope the numbers are right. He served as the head of commerce and advertising business at Flipkart till 2016, which you know is one of the most valuable companies, uh, startup companies from India and in the world. The same year, he co-founded CureFit, a fitness and well-being startup offering digital and offline experiences in fitness, nutrition, and mental well-being. Mukesh is also an early stage investor in Skyroot Aerospace. We are tremendously delighted and we feel privileged, Mukesh, that you are here today to present your perspectives um, to the startup. And I would say both from the point of view of you have been a serial entrepreneur, what is that journey like? And you know, people uh, dream about having successful startups, but you have actually been able to realize a dream. So your sharing of experience would be tremendously useful. And also, can you give a perspective of investing in the space sector? Because there are many VCs and investors who are out there or potential investors who are out there. You know, what you see as the opportunities that uh, can be grabbed by them or should be made, uh, uh, you know, availed of. So with that, over to you, Mukesh. Thank you, Mr. Ramnan. Thanks for the very kind introduction. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's a privilege to be on this forum. Uh, I am certainly no expert uh, in the space sector, um, but definitely an enthusiastic participant um, uh, through my involvement with Skyroot, as Mr. Ramnan mentioned. Uh, this space has been an area that I'm personally been quite fascinated with, uh, you know, keep tracking all the developments and progress um, that's happening in this sector. And I have to say last few years have been quite exciting and looks like the uh, ecosystem is starting to come together, uh, which can uh, bode really well for uh, driving innovation in this uh, industry over next decade. Uh, but let me just step back and go back to the entrepreneur journey because that's where you know, most of my experience is. So, you know, I, I've been actually involved in the entrepreneur ecosystem for now at least almost 22 years. Um, my entrepreneur journey started in um, Silicon Valley in 99 uh, when I was a young engineer and um, enamored by the all the dot-com boom that's happening at the time. I ended up going to Silicon Valley and tried to start a company. Um, wasn't very successful. So I ended up working with um, quite a few early stage companies in Silicon Valley. And that's where uh, most of what I know about entrepreneurship is um, uh, what I learned. I moved back to India in 2007 uh, and been involved with, you know, for, uh, for nearly 10 years with um, Mintra and Flipkart uh, in the uh, e-commerce sector. And then last four years in the health sector. I think few things that, uh, you know, come to mind from my entrepreneurial journey is, first is, you know, um, uh, any entrepreneur, you know, um, journey requires a thriving ecosystem around you. If I compare, you know, my time in Silicon Valley, even though I did not start a company there as part of many early stage companies, and there was a very robust, vibrant uh, entrepreneur ecosystem, you know, in the Silicon Valley, which has been in the development since uh, 80s. So it was already, you know, mature by you know, three decades. And uh, you could see in terms of, you know, just a um, uh, the entire support system that is available, you know, from uh, legal, finance, accounting, you know, venture ecosystem, various stages of venture investment from angel investors to early stage investors to mature private equity investors, you know, whole guidance around how do you go public to m &A situation, you know, overall very high tolerance uh, rate for failure, all kind of uh, exit options available. Uh, right. Uh, so that, you know, and when I moved back to India in 2007, that ecosystem did not exist in India. It was entrepreneurship still was very early. If I look back to my first few years at Mintra, you know, things were 
quite uh, challenging you know it was very difficult to hire people you know it was uh, for most people you know the idea of uh, you know giving up a well paying job at uh, infosys or uh, ibm or yahoo at the time leaving that and to join a startup was a novel idea people just didn't know um, what you know how to interpret it you know uh, versus you fast forward to now it's almost become a cool to you know work for startup you know if <laughs> given a choice um there was you know very few vc who were active in that time um you know it even smallest of things you know like getting a basic legal agreement done will take you know lot of lawyers lawyers a lot of iteration and so on and last you know 12 13 years we have seen that uh, ecosystem mature significantly now you know we have lot of venture firms uh, there are many entrepreneurs each year i think a uh, lot more entrepreneurs are coming in a lot of people fresh out of college starting very good companies we have seen tremendous scale many exits and so on right the reason i'm talking about ecosystem is i think if you look at space industry we are perhaps at the cusp of you know um uh, uh start of the new ecosystem uh, fortunately you know india has obviously immense prowess in the space industry because of all the effort that isro has done over last 50 years you know we have been um, uh, at par with any country in the world uh, in terms of technology know how a uh, lot of success under the belt um, uh, through government efforts uh, now as slowly you know space industries opening up uh, i think uh, development of that ecosystem is very important i think india has no dearth of entrepreneurial energy uh, space is also one very unique industry where just you know beyond uh, uh, commercial interest i think there is also a, a fascination about you know the immense possibilities that a uh, space industry offers uh, for um, innovation for exploration uh, so there is a good deal of interest in that space so i think uh, for among all the stakeholders you know both on the government side and private side if we can think about how do we create that um, ecosystem and make it easy for lot more entrepreneurs to come in into space sector try out different things uh, i think it will only accelerate a uh, speed of innovation you know uh, in my 22 year uh, experience you know uh, of uh, being an entrepreneur working with many other entrepreneurs uh, you know i have learned that uh, you know innovation does not understand age you know uh, we are always surprised you know how often innovation can come from you know someone who maybe just a college student or just fresh out of college you know uh by we all know that most pioneering companies in silicon valley are founded by people in their 20s so as a space sector and how do we create space a uh, room for uh, young entrepreneurs to come in you know try their hand at it uh, we should also acknowledge you know unlike a software startup you know space is a is a you know heavy industries work so a uh, lot of infrastructure is required so even if you know there are some you know few young entrepreneurs with great ideas unless they have access to infrastructure it's really a uh, very difficult to make progress so making access to those facilities uh at uh, you know uh, um uh, uh commercially viable uh, framework will be very important so people can um, take their ideas from concept to production very quickly test things out i think it's a great area for a potential you know private public partnership i'm sure isro must be thinking about how do they work you know with and enable larger entrepreneur ecosystem because space is also very you know wide field that lot of uh, areas of innovation you know from uh, electronic components to the software systems to materials to you know launch vehicles and satellites and you know then the applied application on top of that uh, you know so and the startups can thrive in each of those areas Uh, as long as the backdrop is available in terms of you know easier regulatory framework access to right uh, facilities um support or uh, you know the the r&d in uh, space sector is also very expensive so favorable gst policies around that uh, the industry has been heavily regulated so far um i think one should look at you know, uh, get having a single window clearance system so that anyone who is looking to innovate in this category you know at least have all the friction removed and we can let you know literally you know 1000 flowers bloom and some of them can end up becoming a pioneering space company we've been all hearing about some you know great um company in space in fact in us now it seems like the agenda of space you know which has been obviously led by nasa for last 50 years but now finally moving into more into private hands 
but NASA playing a very important facilitator role. So how can we create that ecosystem in India for a lot of uh, innovation, you know, powered by entrepreneurs to happen um, heavily backed by ISRO uh, will be a great environment. Um, uh, I think I can I can um, vouch for you know the uh, the creativity, passion, drive that entrepreneurs bring to table. You know, willingness to fail, uh, and India, you know, we because we have no dearth of both engineering talent and entrepreneurial talent. If we can tap into that for space industry, uh, we can build upon all the success and knowledge of you know ISRO and next ten to fifteen years, you know, create some really pioneering um, companies out of India. So that will be my wish and aspiration as a entrepreneur and agent, angel investor and uh, hope to see a lot of progress and inclusiveness in this industry in the coming years. Thank you, Mukesh, for uh, sharing those very, very important perspectives. Uh, and I think all the startups here would be tremendously encouraged by uh, the points that you made, uh, the environment in which we live in today as compared to several years ago. And also the great opportunities that are there in investment. I mean, the fact that you are seeing uh, an opportunity is very different from uh, CureFit and Mahindra uh, into space. And, and since you are seeing that, uh, that is a very encouraging factor for all the startups here who are logged on. Because that, that is indeed, and, and one of the things that I feel particularly is, I mean, look at some of the companies which are out there in the international market, Space 2020 and and uh, space tech and all of that. And they're all focusing because uh, like defense, space technology investment can give side effects of innovations for many other areas. You know, the, the, the side effect of innovations that one does for space is, is tremendous. Um, and I know of some beautiful examples which were given by ISRO themselves. Uh, some of the, you know, when they are going to make the most affordable, the least costly satellites, every element of uh, physical material or technology which goes into uh, the making of a, a shuttle, space shuttle or a making of a satellite, uh, you know, that results in tremendous amount of research and new development, which can be applied in many other areas. And, and I think that is, that is what uh, it's all about.